Hello and welcome back to this channel. I'm Ruth and we're here in nature. Hope you're well, hope you had a blessed week. And today's lesson is about worry is blind and cannot discern the future. And it's very interesting because just before uh, recording this video, I just, you know, received some news and it's quite funny because my sister always says, you know, that I should write a book about my life because things just happen and it's just like wow questionable things but I just see it as such a blessing you know just as I'm saying these words as well I have to live out these words and it's such a blessing that throughout the scriptures there's wonderful promises that we can hold on to when questionable things happen to us you know when we feel to worry and when we feel anxious so before we actually go to this quote in Desire of Ages I just want to share with you some verses which are just such a blessing in regards to worrying and also so in regards to anxiety so the first scripture is taken from first Peter chapter 5 verse 7 and it says casting all your care upon him for he careth for you and it's such a blessed scripture because you know it says that God cares for all of us and we know you know that Christ went through all that we went through so Christ you know has sympathy he has understanding of all that we've gone through so we can take all our cares to him we can take it all and put it on the cross and also another verse that I want to share with you is literally my favorite verse when it comes to anxiety when I'm feeling anxious I am always turning to this verse because you know in that time of need we have to turn to God's word and and proclaim you know his promises and also ask God to help us to live out these verses and the second verse is taken from Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 8 and it says be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your minds and hearts through Christ Jesus and verse 8 is a very nice verse because when we're feeling anxious this verse tells us what we should think for and how we should guide our guide our minds and it says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things be of good report if there be of any virtue if there be any praise think on these things so now as I've shared with you wonderful verses in regards to claiming those promises when worry comes to your mind when anxiety comes to your mind I just want to read to you a passage from the book desire of ages as you know this verse this uh, quote is such a blessing and it says worry is blind and cannot discern the future but Jesus sees the end from the beginning. In every difficulty, he has his way prepared to bring relief. Our Heavenly Father has a thousand ways to provide for us, of which we know nothing. Those who accept the one principle of making the service and honour of God supreme will find perplexities vanish and a plain path before their feet. Eye of Ages, page 330 paragraph one so have a blessed day actually before we go I just want to share with you some tips in regards to when anxiety comes to you of course anxiety is such a big topic it's such a big thing today in society and you know it may be the case that if you're feeling anxious you may need professional help but I just want to share with you some tips that I kind of use when I'm feeling anxious so one thing is to pray take it all to the Lord in prayer tell God everything there's nothing that can burden him tell it to the Lord in prayer you know whether it be big or whether it be small and another one for me is sing sing praises to God sing hymns sing songs sing sweet melodies because we know that singing can actually help you to ease your mind and it can actually bring peace to your mind and another favorite of mine is literally writing writing journaling about what I'm thinking writing and journaling about my life because I know that when I move forward I'm I see so much encouragement in in how God has led me in the past and I also also not only journal but I keep a thanksgiving uh, journal as well and also a prayer journal a prayer, a prayer diary so that is also helpful 
exercise exercise is another tip which i like because you know exercise increases the serotonin levels in your body so when you're feeling anxious you know go out for a walk jog do some exercise muscle strength whatever it may be get that strength you know exercise is very helpful and another tip that i'll leave with you is eating healthy so what we eat as well does sometimes affect our mind so the reason why I'm saying sometimes because sometimes you can eat healthily but if you have emotional problems whatever you eat you'll still have the issue so you may have to just deal with your emotional problems but yeah eating healthily is a nice way you know to 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 help you with anxiety to help you with anxious thought and a good fruit you know banana has levels of serotonin so it's a happy hormone so that's the end of this video if you can comment below of tips that can help with anxiety and also your favorite verses in when you're feeling worried or when you're feeling anxious so that was it see you next time in the next video and shalom may the lord be with you goodbye so hello guys i literally forgot one of my best tips and literally it's being in nature being in a quiet place and just really hearing the voice of god so just take that time out if you're feeling anxious or worried Find yourself a place, find yourself a quiet retreat um, where you can hear from God. So.